The people trying to get taxpayer funding for those privately operated schools endorsed by Governor Bill Lee are now trying to convince the public they're really separate from Hillsdale College. Yeah, that, of course, is the conservative Michigan College at the center of controversy over its view of teachers. But tonight, our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams has uncovered more evidence that reveals the true Hillsdale connection. Phil, you know, some of that new evidence comes from that hidden camera video from the reception hosted by Hillsdale, Hillsdale's president with the governor. What they're now saying in public is very different from what they said in private. Teachers are trained in the dumbest parts of the dumbest colleges in the country. Our hidden camera investigation had exposed comments by Hillsdale College President Larry Arn. It came as three Tennessee school boards were getting ready for their final votes on applications for those taxpayer funded privately operated charter schools. The applicant, a group known as American Classical Education. Facing a firestorm of criticism across the state, the charter management organization tried to distance itself from Hillsdale. They distanced themselves and reassured me that they were were not part of Hillsdale. There was no association or affiliation. And so. the resolution that we vote on tonight is for denial. And when the Jackson Madison County School Board so in West Tennessee that, rejected that the group's motion. application, American Classical filed an appeal with the state claiming ACE is a separate organization from Hillsdale College, and none of those individuals who appeared before the board is or ever has been employed by Hillsdale College. We started a charter management organization because we don't take anybody from the government. But go back to the hidden camera video where Arn had appeared with Governor Bill Lee. There, Arn boasted about how when the charter management organization needed a CEO, he had personally recruited a Hillsdale graduate who had plans for the business world. I said, you're going to have to put that off. And he said, uh, why? And I said, you're going to start a charter management organization. And he said, what's that? And I replied, you'll figure it out. <laughs> and this contract that Hillsdale signed with another charter school operator shows the college expects to be the first and primary source of models, resources, and guidance for school operations. That in the search for a principal, Hillsdale would take the lead and notify the school of the names and contact information for potential candidates. And that Hillsdale would provide teacher education of a duration, scope, and location to be determined by Hillsdale. How are they seeing it as separate? And we are not. Still in Rutherford County, school officials noted that if you search American Classical Education's application to open a charter school there, the word Hillsdale is mentioned more than 450 times. Rutherford County developed this chart showing the tangled web of relationships. Where there's support for curriculum, professional development, um, operations, who's going to be doing the oversight, who's going to be providing the resources, who's the financial backer, it's all directly tied to Hillsdale. In my review of the application, uh, it is, you know, so many references to Hillsdale. Uh, it was very evident that there was a, a clear affiliation to the to the college. The deputy superintendent for Jackson Madison County said that when American Classical was asked how they would deal with teacher shortages, their answer revealed even greater ties. Uh, they talked about that they typically have about 80 percent of the teaching their teaching uh, at their charter schools would come from directly from Hillsdale College. Their teachers would come from Hillsdale. They said about 80% typically would come from the Hillsdale, uh, from, from Hillsdale College where they're graduates. And that, that was one of the ways that they were able to retain teachers a lot better than most places. In fact, an article in the Hillsdale College newspaper noted that the new CEO wants ACES schools to be places where Hillsdale graduates apply for jobs. He called the group's work, quote, an extension of the mission of the college. Their affiliation with Hillsdale is not important to us. As for the controversy surrounding Hillsdale, school officials insist that was not a driving force as they followed state guidelines for reviewing charter school applications. And that we are, in, in reviewing that, providing the best possible education for our students. But for them to deny a close relationship with Hillsdale is, is just not honest. That's correct. It's not honest. Now, the final decision on these three charter school applications, the first of what the governor hopes will be 50 to 100 of these schools, 
will be made by a state commission appointed by the governor. Rory. All right, Phil, thank you. Phil has been following this story for months now. If you want to catch up and see all parts of his revealed series, just go to newschannel5.com.